Hello and welcome to a short video that will go through some of the processes and procedures that Kilmarnock Harriers put into place to enable them to return to training after lockdown in July 2020 and again implementing in March 2021. Just like to thank Scottish Athletics for this opportunity to present on our pathway back to action, back to training, back to activity for all our members. Planning for a return to training was fairly difficult, but we were fortunate enough to have the backing of Scottish Athletics and the guidance provided by Scottish Athletics Sports Scotland and also East Ayrshire Leisure to enable us to come back to training. We had to look at a variety of measures that had to be in place to enable us to come back to training and I will touch on some of these as I progress through the presentation and video today. A small group of us uh, within the club had to look at the guidance that was being supplied by the Scottish Government, Sports Scotland and Scottish Athletics, react to that and implement that to enable us to come back to training and deliver safe athletics during this uncertain time. As every club will, will be able to testify, the ever-changing situation within Scotland and within sport in Scotland meant that this was not an easy process. We went through various plans and had to update, change and adapt as we went through that. After the planning process, we had to work out how could we accommodate our over 300 members at the club over the four different nights. And as part of that, we decided that creating a simplified plan and meeting areas for each of the groups would help athletes and parents and coaches understand exactly the rules, regulations and where they were to meet to ensure that social distancing and bubble numbers were adhered to at every training session. The simple plan that you can see above enabled this to happen and also allowed the athletes and coaches etc to understand exactly where they were meant to be, where they should congregate and where they should wait. This also linked to a document which was sent to all coaches so that they understood exactly what they were expected to do on the training nights. Communication was key to the successful return of training at Kilmarnock Harriers. This was done in a variety of ways, using social media, the website and email communication to ensure that every parent, every guardian, athlete and member, coach, etc. knew exactly what the restrictions were, knew exactly what was expected and, and what they would experience when they arrived at the track. We also simplified a number of documents that had been issued by Scottish Athletics and the Scottish Government, making them more specific to Comarnock Harriers and taking away some of the wording that wasn't required for the club. This helped coaches and athletes understand exactly what the restrictions were and their part in ensuring that these restrictions were adhered to at all times. One area where the club found that the members were struggling was around the physical distancing and understanding the rules around physical distancing. With that in mind, again, we took some of the info slides and infographs that Scottish Athletics had created and used them to ensure that athletes knew exactly what they should do, when they should do it, and the rules for uh, social distancing and physical distancing at all time. As the ever-changing situation and we were we started to be allowed indoors again we took some of the infographs from the Scottish Athletics and uh, got them circulated to all members via the various methods I've, I've described earlier Facebook the website and email this helped the club manage the situation and also allowed us to get many groups indoors when appropriate one of the key areas for Kilmarnock Carriers to enable them to get back to training was communication between the club and the local authority officers. This ensured that the local authority could be assured that Kilmarnock Carriers were taking their responsibilities in regards to COVID-19 responsibly. That meant that we had to implement and show a safe working practice for our athletes and the flow of athletes within the venue. 
by communicating with East Ayrshire Leisure and the staff within East Ayrshire Leisure, they could see that Kilmarnock Harriers had things in place which would enable activity to take place at the Athletics Arena in Kilmarnock. As part of that, you can see from these slides that we had various coloured zones which were marked out by flags on the track side. These are where the athletes met their coaches to and left the, all their training kit at these points. As well as this, we implemented a one-way system around the track to manage the flow of athletes to and from the venue. We also closed the main gate into the arena. Um, this uh, could be a problematic area given cars coming in and out. And we advised parents that there was a drop-off point within the car park and a pick-up point within the car park. And so far, this has been largely successful in managing the flow of athletes to and from the arena for training. Process to getting back to training, it comes to the some of the less glamorous side of paperwork, creating the risk assessments, creating risk assessments. Um, and these risk assessments had to reflect the COVID situation. Um, so Kilmarnock Harriers learned some of the best practice and I'd like to compliment Inverclyde and Jerry Gaffney up there in terms of some of the documentation that was circulated around the clubs as templates. Uh -huh. These were excellent in allowing the club to collate a number of risk assessments due to the fact that the club use a number of different venues for various training sessions. At points, some of the lead coaches created these risk assessments, but the ones for the main arena were created centrally and circulated to all members and all coaches to ensure that they understood the restrictions and they followed the guidance to the best of their ability to minimise the risk of cross-contamination or the spread of COVID within the club. I understand that risk assessments is not the sexy part of sport, not the exciting part of sport, but it's a necessary part of sport. And Kilmarnock Harriers created a number of these, as you can see from the one above. So as we now come out of the second lockdown in March 2021, we now look forward to what could be potentially some competition championships coming up in August. In terms of the club's return to action, this is only our first week back in the mid-March 2021. So far, athletes have adhered to the guidance, they have adhered to the restrictions, the physical distancing at all times. Everything is in place to enable the club to move forward. We hope that some of the documents you've seen here are useful. We hope that some of the slides that you can see have been helpful for your club. If you'd like to know more uh, in regards to the Command Carriers processes or like some help with that, you can contact Scottish Athletics who can put you in touch with our COVID coordinator. We thank you for watching this and we hope it has been useful to your club and we wish you all the very best in delivering athletics in 21 going forward. Thank you.